Creating content doesn't have to be seen as lonely. While it can be for some people, there are other reasons as to why just the concept of creating seems to unlock something inside your mind that could open up things that you didn't even realize. In this video that I've actually wanted to make for a while, I'll be looking at that main thing that's holding you back from creating or just being creative and realizing your full potential. And that thing is you. Whether you're an artist, writer, entrepreneur, we all face obstacles and challenges in our creative journey. First and foremost, the biggest thing that stops you from creating is fear. Fear of failure, fear of judgment, fear of the unknown. This fear can paralyze you, preventing you from putting your ideas out there. You might think that your work simply isn't good enough or that you're not talented because other people have done the idea that you've got. But the thing is, they haven't done it your way. Only you can do that. But the truth is, everyone experiences these fears and doubts. Those role models that you look up to, those people with millions of followers, they've all felt this at one point in their journey. And the only way to overcome it initially is to just start. The more you create, the more you'll realize that your fears are baseless and that you have what it takes to succeed and all you need to do is believe in yourself. And let's just look at the benefits to creating. It's going to give you that creative outlet, that place where you can express your creativity and share your passion, whether that's for yourself, for one person or for loads of people. I've discovered that I really enjoy making these videos for you to watch. And my mantra is if I can help at least one person with some advice, tips or help, then that creation was worth it. Creating allows you to be flexible because you can create your own content at your own pace and on your own schedule. You can build a community around your content where you'll be able to connect with like-minded people. This creative life and the process of creating and sharing content can help you develop skills and improve your existing ones. For me personally, I can tell that doing this regularly, even over the short period of time that I have been doing this, I have improved my communication skills, not only from what you see if you watch my videos, uh, but in my day-to-day -day life as well. The thought of standing up and delivering a groom's speech at my own wedding would have terrified me years ago. But when I did it, I had this confidence that I'd never had before. The fear had gone. But it's important to remember that just like in life, there are no shortcuts and you get out of it what you put in. Personal growth requires hard work, dedication, and persistence. It can take time to grow personally or grow an audience and establish yourself as a trusted voice. You might not get the millions of followers that you're striving for, but personal growth is more valuable. Creativity allows you to approach challenges from new angles, leading to you to get more innovative and effective solutions. And because of creativity, it's a form of self-expression, that in itself can lead to a greater sense of personal satisfaction and fulfillment. Engaging in those creative activities has been shown to reduce stress, anxiety and depression and improve overall mental and emotional well-being, which in turn can help you communicate ideas more effectively, leading to you developing stronger relationships and better teamwork, both for your creative activities and in your personal life. In many fields, creativity is a highly valued skill that can set you apart from the competition and potentially increase your competitiveness in the job market. Now, it's all good talking about being creative, but motivation is a key aspect of any creative pursuit. No matter who you are, you need that motivation to keep you inspired and moving forward. But sometimes it can be challenging to find the motivation to create, especially if you're feeling stuck or uninspired. So how can you keep your creative motivation going? Here are a few tips that I found that helped me and hopefully may help you too. Surround yourself with other creatives. Join a community of creatives who share your passion and interests. That can be a great way of staying motivated, whether that's an online community of like-minded people on Twitter or in a Reddit group or even an in-person local group. Connecting with those others who understand your struggles and celebrate your successes can be a big boost to your confidence. Goal setting is so important, so set yourself achievable goals. Having those specific achievable goals can help you stay motivated and focused. Write down what you want to accomplish, your end goals, and break it down into smaller, manageable steps. Now, as a real important one, always take breaks when you need them. Sometimes taking a break from your creative pursuits can help reignite your motivation. Do something completely different and give yourself a mental break. Don't look at taking a break as a failure. Just look at it as you listening to your body. And when you return, you return with that passion restored. Don't burn out, keep it ignited. And remember, a small ember of passion is better than an extinguished one. Find inspiration in the world around you, whether that's nature, art, music, or anything else. Find what inspires you 
and use it to fuel your creative motivation. Celebrate your successes, celebrate your achievements, no matter how small they may be. Achieving those goals and milestones is a great way to boost your motivation and help you stay focused. Remember, creative motivation isn't always going to be easy. There'll be days when you feel uninspired and unmotivated, but that's okay. What's important is to keep pushing yourself and never give up on your creative pursuits. Another thing that often stops people from even sometimes starting is lack of time. With so many of us having so many responsibilities and commitments, it can be hard to find the time and energy after that long day at work or looking after the kids to focus on your creative projects. But the key is to prioritize. Make a schedule, set aside dedicated time for your creative pursuits and stick to it. Even if it's just a few hours a week, this time can make all the difference and you'll feel all the better for doing it. Sometimes we get stuck in our own heads. We tend to overthink and overanalyze ideas trying to make them perfect. But the beauty of creativity is that it's always a work in progress. Don't let the fear of not being perfect stop you from starting. Just start creating and let the process take you where it needs to be and you'll be amazed at the results. So there you have it. Fear, lack of time, overthinking. Those are just three things that can stop you from creating. But remember, these are just obstacles and you have the power to overcome them. Just start. Follow some of the tips and advice I've shared and let your creativity flow. And if you have any additional tips or tricks for overcoming these challenges, let me know in the comments below and share it with the community. Take the time to appreciate every step in the process and enjoy the journey while you're at it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you want to see some more hopefully inspirational videos like this press the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one.